Wedding Radio is on. on. The entertainment show that gets you up close and personal with today's hottest stars. Here's your host, Navelle J. Lee. Hey guys, it's Navelle J. Lee, and welcome into a special edition of the Buzzcast here at Buzzworthy Radio. I had the chance to attend the 50th anniversary party for The Young and the Restless at the Vibiana on March 17th and let me just tell you how spectacular this event was it was it was amazing to see all the familiar familiar faces as well as the new faces whether it's familiar faces of the current stars or the alumni that was present and i was just mesmerized at the amount of alumni that was present for this party just getting to connect with them about their historical storylines that had taken place on this show within the five decades of it being on the air it was absolutely incredible to me I, this the fan in me was gushing and i'm so excited to share these interviews with you all so sit back and relax and enjoy the YNR 50th anniversary interviews here on the buscast check it out how are you Fine. How are you? I'm just fantastic. I mean, I love the fact that you kept up with the theme in your outfit, celebrating the golden years and your gold. A little schmaltzy, but I, I mean, this is. But this is you. This is something that you would do. That's why I was like, of course she did. <laughs> <laughs> so good to see you. How are you? I'm just fine. I was just tired. We have been working so hard on the show for seemingly weeks. I mean, just no days off and. We've had all these exciting things that yeah. you start to see on the air and all the press and everything else that goes with it. I'm exhausted. <laughs> and you were one of the first people here. That's not something that... And I'm never the first person no. here. I'm, I don't know what's going on. I just saw you walk down. I was like, she's the first one down here. Did something happen? Well, you see, that's the power of Matt Cain. That's true. Matt, Matt organized when I would get here and the whole thing. That's right. Proud of Jersey. Say no to Matt. Listen, proud of Jersey. I'm always proud of Jersey. That's right. Listen, you, you're going to be celebrating 45 years next year on the show. Isn't that crazy? I just feel like it I just seems celebrated like we just did the 40th. I know. Uh, I, I don't. That was know. such a beautiful. Time. Thank you. It was really fun. I don't know that. I don't feel enough time has passed to do another big thing like that for the 45th. Right. I mean, it's just too much. So uh, I don't know if I'll make it till 50 <laughs> without being in a wheelchair. But you know, we'll see. There's a lot of memories of Nikki on that show within within you when you started in 1979. I mean, we talked about it the last time and how I grew up. Even though I started after Nikki and Victor were already split, I knew the history of Nikki and Victor when I started because your character was with Jack Abbott at the time. Okay. Oh, yes. And then I was just I was just going like, well, why isn't she with Victor Newman? <laughs> well, we worked that out. You worked that out. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I still love the story. I have to. I have to mention this for anybody who hasn't heard it yet. I still love the story about Aretha Franklin. Oh goodness, yes, <laughs> yes. A, a lot of people like that story. I, I come off bad in it, but you know, <laughs> it's such a memorable moment, though. I think that's great. I didn't know that she remembered you when she saw oh, you at the Emmys after that. Oh yes, and that 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 was probably the most uncomfortable thing because the press wanted me and Aretha to be standing together. To do, pictures. Oh, to do pictures. They asked for us to get, uh, believe me, otherwise she would never have come over to me. And so <laughs> while we are smiling yeah. for the photos, <laughs> we're having this conversation. She's like, mm -hmm, I remember you that night at the newsstand. Oh, mm -hmm. no. And I'm like, oh, oh, I know. And I'm so sorry. So sorry, Miss Franklin, about that. You know, I forget that, 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 that. And she just goes, mm hmm. And she says, where's Victor? I want my picture made with him. So it's such an old-fashioned thing to say, have your picture made, made with somebody. Yep. And sh and off she went. Oh, that's and so funny. I mean, it taught me a good lesson. Always be gracious. Be gracious. Yes. Well, we're being gracious tonight. I love the fact that we're getting to celebrate 50 wonderful years of being on the rest of tonight. And it's so good to see you, as Thank always. You. Thank you. It is. All right. Yes, Robert Perucci. Yes. It's good to see you. You look like Oh, as always. well, thank you. I appreciate that. I'm thankful to God that I have good health and I try to take care of myself. I have a wonderful wife that uh, is a good cook and treats me right. So, you know, life is good. What's it like being here uh, celebrating 50 years of the Young and the Restless? Well, it's, uh, it's amazing. Here I have uh, 
you know, my uh, Nikki right next to me is pretty kind of appropriate. You know, Matt and Nikki had the thing. So uh, uh, it was amazing. It was an amazing run while I was there. It was uh, two and a half years of just uh, a lot of learning uh, as an actor. You know, I was, I was pretty unproven when I came on. I was kind of a neophyte. Uh, but uh, it took me a few months to get my legs underneath me. But uh, with some support from Eric and Mel and, uh, and you know, Bill Bell had a real... Uh, a lot of patience with me, which was great. So, and I, for two and a half years, I had a really good storyline, and uh, it was just an amazing time in my life. I, I look back on it with a lot of fondness. So, for those of you who are not aware of Robert Ferrucci's character, he played Victor Newman's brother on the show. And I recently came across a scene where you, you and Victor, you're, you just get into this big fight over Nikki. Like you just went in the barn. It duked it out. Duked it out. That was an intense scene. What was it like to film that scene, if you remember? Yeah, it was 55 pages of dialogue that day. 55? 55. 55, yeah. And it was a very emotional scene. And I and I, uh, I'd had a pretty heavy storyline for, for that period of time. And 15 to 20 pages was pretty normal. But um, I had to really prepare for it. I had to really think as an actor what was going on uh, as Matt. You know, um, kind of heartbroken, uh, being betrayed by my brother not really understanding the situation um, and just being crushed. And this is my brother and who I trust and I love. So, and Eric, I love that guy because he's so, he's so intuitive as an actor, you know, and you just, you kind of never know what's coming, which is great. He's uh, unpredictable, but in a really good way, you know, you got to be on your toes and uh, he gives a lot. He's very attentive. He's always there. So being in that scene, it was a very emotional Day and I was, oh, I bet. I was kind of like, I was kind of spent afterward, afterwards. But I felt like, you know, I pulled it off. We, we got it done before 6 o'clock. That's right. You know, and that was the main deal. So uh, that was that was kind of the peak. So that was good, yeah. It's a true testament to your character and yourself as an actor, especially working alongside Eric in that scene. That was just, it was very intense. I was all into it. And it was just, it was incredible work by both of you. So. Yes, and I'm very happy to see that you're celebrating 50 years tonight with us. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really appreciate Thank it. You. Thank you. Thank you, Nivelle. Take care. This is Lily. She, she actually plays, we were actually just talking to your on-screen father earlier, Michael Grazade. Yes, Michael Grazade, my father. He is, oh my gosh, he's the best. He's so kind. He really is Thanks awesome. Lucy, his daughter, is such an honor. I was going to say, like, what is it like being... Being his on-screen daughter, how, how's that been? It was intimidating at first. I mean, jumping onto a show 50 years in, you know, a show that has been going for 50 years now, it's very intimidating. But I'm I sure. say, everyone, the moment that I got on set, all of the cast and crew made me feel so welcome. And I'm just, Good. I'm so That's grateful good. to be on this show. Such, like, such an, it's such an iconic show, and I'm just so honored that I get to be a part of it. That was really going to be one of my questions, too, is how... How has everybody been on the show? Because I, I, you are working with incredible teachers on this program. That's going to be showing you so much and putting you under their wing. And working with the likes of Michael and Vale and even Michelle Stafford, it's just absolutely incredible. Michelle and Graz and Vale, they are, they, are, they, they are all so, so, so kind. And working with them kind of as mentors as well, you know. They, they treat me like they're, you know, like I'm their own, and that is such an honor. And just getting to work with them has been so amazing. I couldn't have chosen a better set family. Is this your first red carpet experience? This is not. I've had a few other red carpet, but this is definitely the biggest. This is, so like, this is the biggest. This is for sure the biggest. So I'm a little intimidated. But it's also exciting because you're really celebrating this huge milestone yes. for this for this, this show that you're now a part of. Absolutely. And just getting to be a part of this, even if it's a small part, I'm just so honored. We're glad that you're here. We're glad that we're celebrating 50 spectacular years of the Young and the Restless with you. And hopefully, here's to 50 more. Here's to 50 more. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. It was so great nice meeting you. Nabelle, I'm Judith. How are you? I'm good. Judith Chapman, everybody, is joining us right now. Gloria, good old Gloria. Oh, good old Gloria. Where's Gloria? She keeps hiding. I know. That's what we kept asking. Is like, when is Gloria coming home? She's in the green room. She's, She's in, in the green room. The break room. The break room. Not the, <laughs> the green room. room. The break room. That's that's fair. That's fair. I love. Let's let's talk about this first. First of all, your character. I loved your chemistry with Jerry Douglas, the late Jerry Douglas. It was always. Thank you. Thank you. I used to get so frustrated because people say, oh, you're just after him for his money. I said, no, she really did love him. No, she really did love him. You were able to tell that, especially later on. She didn't know anything. She didn't know in the beginning. She didn't know, and those nasty kids of his, 
but he taught her how to walk. He taught her how to eat. He taught her how, he taught her how to have poise. How to have some class, yes. which he had none. And she adored him for that. And when he died, it was... No, thank you. I loved working with Jerry, but it was so sweet because he didn't know I'd done a few soap operas and had been around the block a few times. And he would say, stick, stick with me, kid. I'll take care of you. And I said, <laughs> Jerry, I have done this yes. a couple of times. Yes. Yeah, and, yeah, we can talk about it on my podcast. You know, yeah, yeah. I've been around a little bit. I've been around a little bit. And, um, and, and it finally got to be, thank you, Jerry. Yes. I was just grateful that, you know, somebody actually gave a darn. I was going to say, that actually gets that. Yeah, so you're And again, you had some incredible screen partners, not just with Jerry. We also mentioned the kids with uh, Peter Bergman and Eileen. Ross Stoborn. Oh, my God. That broke that broke my heart. That broke my heart. Yep. yep. And then Ted Shackelford. And Ted. I mean, my God. Twice. Yes. Twice. Bringing him, because he was so wonderful, bringing him back as the twin. The twin. Right here. Anyway, but it's just and so I've been very fortunate in the seventeen years. I feel like now I'm so back burner I'm not in the kitchen much anymore, but still a fan. It's so good to see you. You look so gorgeous good. as always. Do I? Well they said if it's I'm going to a fifty year old birthday party, I'm gonna wear fifty year old clothes. There you I'm, go. I I wear vintage. <laughs> Take care see. of that. Thank you. What's up, Noah? What's up, brother? How are you? Good. Very we good. saw you at Emmy. Yeah, that was it. It's been a minute. It has been a minute. And here I am seeing you again for this. For this. This, for this incredible, this 50th. I'm so glad that you walked down this carpet to see me, number one. I mean, you already know. You already know how I feel about that. for you, sir. No. <laughs> but the fact that you get to celebrate this milestone tonight, what, what, what's that like for you? Well, I'll tell you, it's kind of like maybe a recurring theme because 20 years ago, I celebrated the Guiding Light 50 years, which at that time, that show had been the longest running TV show in history and also on CBS. So I was like, that's oh. Not, that wasn't even counting the radio years. No, but that's what I'm saying. From radio. Yeah, it was from radio. And this genre is just, it's not so much for me. It's not so much for our culture. So I'm just proud that I could be a part of it. It's just so funny you brought that up. I don't know if you saw this or not. I actually promoted when he celebrated 20 years in the industry in uh, two, yeah, 2020. Yeah. Uh, right. Yeah. I remember being like... Yeah, and I just posted I was like, it, it's literally 20 years now that he's been a part of it. And I was just like, bro, it's but, insane how quick time went. <laughs> right? Well, I really noticed it in my kids. Like, that's the scariest thing. You know, 10 and 6 and... You know, I think, I think you look young, babe. You look wow, great. Thank God. You look great. <laughs> thank you God. look great. Well, no, not biased. I mean, you look great, she's five babe. years younger than me, so you know. She I'll always be the baby. She'll be the baby. <laughs> That's why you said that you're rubbing it in a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. just a little bit. You look great, man. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, the longevity that you've been a part of this daytime arena, and just yeah. you said how much it's done for the community of people of color, like. People myself. of color, you know, actors per se, like a lot of people get started. I, for one, like really appreciate the genre, like being able to do what we love every day, every day on a stage and like, like really sink our teeth into some story. Like that's why I got into this business to do that. So those are the memories that I take from being, you know, on this show and, and see, and now being able to see everybody and just like, yes, such you know, class and beauty from, you know, Peter Bergman to Mark Grossman, you know, it's just, it's just such a huge deal, even for me as a fan, just seeing all these people walk by who have so much history with the show that I grew up watching, being a, you know, just being, having it in my home. You it's just funny is when I was on Guiding Light, yeah. I remember looking, used to look at the uh, soap opera digest, used to come out with the ratings yeah. in the magazine. And I remember Young and the Rest was like always number one. Yep. And I was like, damn. One day, one day I'll be on the number one show. Yep. And here you are. And here I am. It's sad. <laughs> but it's always great to see you. I'm so glad that you guys can do this tonight and be a part of this. You look handsome as always. Thank you, bro. I'll see you later on. I'll see you, man. Brittany Sarby joining us right now. How are you? I'm good. I'm happy. I'm here. I'm in this amazing place. It's exciting times. I mean, you're. it's funny. I was actually thinking of this the other day before I was flying out of here. We saw you when you celebrated General Hospital's anniversary. 
And here you are. And here I am again. And here you are again celebrating Young Rest. I'm Christmas. just I'm all just... in there with soap history, right? That is true. I was just literally, and that was when we first saw you, was when we were celebrating General Hospital's anniversary. And I was just like, what a cool moment. That was just a cool moment. And then it just, here we are right now for this. I like it. Full circle. Full circle. Full circle. Full circle. Right. What's it, what has it been for you being a part of this show, being a part of this milestone? How exciting. Of I mean, it's been amazing to be a part of the number one soap in America. I mean, it's pretty cool, um, especially celebrating 50 years. It's a feat that so few have been able to accomplish. Absolutely. Especially with a show. Yeah. Um, it's amazing. It's, it's cool that we get to be in people's lives and continually do it on a day-to-day -day basis and then for the span of 50 years. Yeah. So it's not just like short seasons, 8 to 13 episodes. Exactly. We're talking a full... Full on every week of every your life day, for 50 week. years. 50 years, yes. What has been your favorite moment, favorite episode that you've had since you've been on? Um, I think my last breakup was a lot of fun to play. That was. Yeah, I got to go to the depths of my emotions with Elena and Devon and yep. being wrong and feeling tortured and, and guilty. I, I love playing all that kind of stuff. It's always fun to play those types of emotions because you, it just brings out the best in an actor. Yeah, so it's raw. It, that's that's it, yeah. literally what I was about to say. It's very raw, but it was. So, it has to be so much fun. Oh, so, so much, much fun. Yeah, really it's, it's therapy in a way. You get to get all that stuff out. Somewhere in me that was, you know? Yes. You're wa I'm just like watching this line, just watching everybody come down, and so much history just being walked on this carpet. What's that like for you? We touched on that a little bit in the beginning, but now just it's just cool to see to like all of these people that are in some way connected to this this beautiful thing that was created 50 years ago. Like how cool for all for us all to come back together and celebrate it. You know, I think this is great. I think this is huge. I'm so glad that you got to be a part of it. Thank you so much for stopping by. Good to see you. I better see you dancing on the dance floor. You will. <laughs> this is this is terrible. I actually am wearing this same suit for the Emmys this year. Are you? Yes. Well, I got it from work, so I might be wearing it again, too. <laughs> this is like, not the last time you'll see this. Okay. Then we'll probably be twinning on that. Uh, yes. yes. Brighton James, uh, always always a fun time whenever you stop on over. Thank you. It's How are you? Always talk to you. How are you? I'm great. I'm fantastic. Look, look where I, I'm at. Look where you are. Like, let, let's look where you are. You know? You're celebrating 50 years of the Young and the Restless right now. Yeah. And, I mean... There was just now a storyline where Abby and Devon just basically got the bro, bro. What was that? What do you mean? That was that was uh, best friends of about a decade that finally you know crossed the line. They crossed the line, right? and that was that was actually. I just sat there. I was. I just went. Oh, so that happened. Well, you know, they asked us. The director, Sally McDonald, actually of that episode, came to us before and said, you know how. How much of a line do you want to cross? How much would you, you know, can we do? And we said, let's do as much as possible. Let's make it something exciting. And, you know, it's, it's, it's so that's so that's what people want to see. Yeah, they want to see In all the years that you've been on the show. What has been your most favorite moment on the show? My favorite moment? Yeah. My favorite moment was my audition for the show because it gave me all the confidence in the world. Who did you who did you test? Uh, I tested with Crystal. Tested with Crystal. Tested with Crystal. My first, my audition was with Marnie Saeed, the casting director. Then I had a, a call back with the producers, and then I had a screen test, which was with Crystal. And um, I, I just, I never thought in a million years going into the to the audition that I'd have a shot at being on a soap opera. I thought it was a, a grown up world, and I was, you know, <laughs> a seventeen. What they want with a kid? Yeah. And uh, and yeah, it turned out all right. Yeah. And look where you are right now. <laughs> where you are right now. I love the fact that. This show is still wanting to celebrate the memory of Jeannie Cooper and Christoph St. John. That just that just warms my heart, and I'm, I'm sure you as well. Absolutely. That they're keeping those, that memory alive of both of them. Absolutely, it's 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 an amazing thing for the show to do, and they've done a great job at it. Uh, we're actually just uh, about to, in about a week and a half, film another episode in uh, tribute to Mr. Christoph St. John. So it's you know we try to keep his memory alive on our own just with the levity we bring and the joy and the fun we bring to set because that's what he did and we miss him every day we miss him every day that is true right and james everybody thank you so much my man of course thank you trisha cast is now joining me in person hiya 
How are you? I'm doing excellently well. This is great, isn't it? This is fantastic. Like, I'm just, just so memorized by all of it right now. I feel see. like somebody. <laughs> well, you technically are somebody. <laughs> you need a lobster. Yeah. <laughs> no, but really, in all seriousness, just seeing all of this, all these people with such history with the show and not just current cast, but alumni being here. It's just bringing back so many fond memories. Yeah, oh, it's it's for me too. It, it's it's home and Definitely. it's a party and what could go wrong? Absolutely. <laughs> Obviously, we had so many wonderful memories of Nina, especially when Nina first came on the show where she wasn't as friendly with Cricket. <laughs> no. No. Um, That's me being generous, y'all. No, Cricket... <laughs> Cricket was nothing but nice to Nina, and she just she just wanted she just wanted Philip. That's all she wanted. Stepped on her every step of the way. Yeah. But she evolved. She did evolve. Obviously, I uh, you know I think after she had the baby, she had Philip's baby, and then going through the whole thing with that one over there with Mr. Michael Corbett. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that that was always she a fun. Her own medicine. And then and then then you had to deal with this one over there. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Yeah, I was like, if you became the Jill in that, in that story. Yeah, I, I, that's right. That's right. It's been a wonderful arc. It's been a wonderful time. Yeah. You know, it was funny. I was I was doing a binge, and I watched Married with Children. I saw your episode on Married with Children. Yeah. That, what was that like, being on that episode? Just, I, I love that show. Too. Yeah, that was a dream. You know, those were, I love the show as well, and was very excited <laughs> to be there. Yeah, I was like, of course she's playing another character with a gun. Like, really? <laughs> Of course she is. Yeah. She can't get away from it. I've, I've, I've had a few guns in my career. That's true. Yeah. That's true. That's true. <laughs> What's it like just being here? We just touched on it, but just seeing everybody just walking around and just reconnecting. It's like when you go home. Yeah. It really is. Yeah. I'm just so proud and I'm just so happy that you got to come back for a little too. bit. Thank you so much. And hopefully we'll see you some more. Yeah, I hope that you enjoy it. R.C. Cates is joining me right now. He's, one of the, he's the music supervisor on the show. You've actually, before this show, you've done General Hospital, right? I did. Um, have you done any other music supervision on? So so I'm like a two-job guy, okay. music supervision and composer. And composer. Right, so General Hospital, Fort Charles, all my children, Young and the Restless, As the World Turns. You did As the World Turns? I did As the World Turns. Now that and was my show. I, I had no idea. And I did... Passions for a little bit. You did passion. I I think I did know about passions, uh, but I yeah, I saw a post about passions. So I mean, so, yeah. I'm very very thrilled to be on Y and R. Uh, joined the show in 2013. Love it. It's great. Oh, God, you celebrating 10 years being a part of this show. Yes, that's insane and that's incredible. The one thing I always, whenever I interview people that do music scores and music compositions. How easy and how difficult is it to come up with pieces for scenes? Because I'm always intrigued about how you piece that together. That's one of the that's one of the things that always intrigues me. Um, I mean, you know, I I wouldn't say it's ever easy, but sure. but I always write in in the direction of how I'm moved by something. So if I watch a scene and the moment I feel something, I'm like, okay, that's where I need to go. I'm going to work with that. Um, so. It's a job, but it's it's you know it, it's I love it. Is there is there a score or is there a piece that you have done for this show that is your absolute favorite? I really like my Chatham theme. Oh, my for that one? Okay. And, you know, and I never I never used all the ship names before I came to YNR. <laughs> I didn't pay too much attention to it. But I so like now you're using the Portman twos now. I like I like I like my Chatham theme a lot. I like my Taraya theme a lot. Okay. Um you know, some bad guy themes along the way that I've enjoyed. I don't know. Of course, know you have to enjoy those. Uh that was it. Right now, the stuff I'm writing for Stark, I like a lot. So okay, new bad guy. The new bad yeah. guy. That's James Hyde, right? Yes. Yes. Of course, anytime I can work like writing songs with Kate. Yes. Fantastic too. Love it. Yes. yes. That's amazing. I'm so glad you got to be a part of this tonight. We we're so glad we got to see you. Talk to you a little bit about the music on the show. Thanks. Absolutely. Way too long. For both of you. Where's the last time? It's been a long time since we've been on the carpet night that I've actually, was it just the Emmys? But I don't remember 
Did we get? I might have missed you. I think you did. I do. I, rem- I do remember. Oh, I do remember. I do remember. All I remember is Michelle. All I remember is Michelle Morgan winning, and that's all I remember. Yeah. Is- no. Oh, that we were distanced though. That was interesting. Yeah, okay, I remember that. Wasn't that amazing? That was such so amazing. Were, I got to present. And you I did. I gave that. it to her. I think that was really the only time I saw he was on the TV yeah. screen. Oh my God. Sean, Sean, and I did. So yeah, it was Sean. amazing. And I was just standing there in the back room, and I was like, I think I just started screaming. I don't know if they heard me. <laughs> it was amazing. That was that was a great. You know what else is amazing? This red carpet event right now, celebrating 50 you know, years. Right? You just celebrated 40. I know, right? I know, and I. I was so happy to post that for you that day. I was, I, I was so happy. I was like, it's her 40th soon. I need to make a post. <laughs> oh, well, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Lauren, Lauren has been one of my mainstays for years. Yes, she's been through a lot. She's been through a lot. She, she's a great businesswoman. She, she was mean. She, she was mean. She was a mean girl. She tried to embarrass Tracy numerous times, especially at a pool party. That was very awful. Uh, <laughs> she was buried alive by Sean. Oh my God, that was intense. I finally came across those episodes. I finally came across those episodes. Those were intense. Very intense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then rescuing Brad from Lisa. Right, I got stuck in a cage with her. Stuck in a cage. But you had sex and you gave him a heart attack. And that was years later. But I oh, waited till you know. we got out of the cage. That was years later, but still. I don't know, I don't know where to look now. <laughs> hey, you're one to talk. You're the one that went through a wall to break into Cricket's apartment. Yeah, and didn't you kill your first wife, or what happened? Whatever. <laughs> I mean, you know, I did not kill anybody. That we know of. That you've been caught. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about, either one of you. <laughs> I just remember just you're just oh, putting up. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Paul was the one that had to shoot you in the butt. In the butt, right? <laughs> if you look at the angle, the I grabbed my back because that's what a decent person does. But we all know he shot me in the butt. Yeah. But I loved your redemption story when you came back right. in 97. In turns. Yes. Yeah. They made me work for it. They did. That was Bill's genius. You didn't just, you just didn't walk back in without any cost. And you know what's funny? They're now I'm now on YouTube. They're now airing like the Bold and the Beautiful official channel is now airing all of your B and B episodes now. Oh, really? Yeah, they now just started. They now just started airing the episodes where Lauren and Eric got together. <laughs> oh, those were fun days. Yes. Those were fun. He was. Oh, he was fastest. Was here. Yeah. But you both, you both had so many great memories and experiences on this. Show. What stands, out, what stands out for, for you? I mean, obviously, Lauren and Michael's relationship, the wedding That's itself. Our the dance, obviously. Is one of right. My yeah. favorite moments with you two. Thank you. Our engagement, I think, right. also. And the divorce, well, the, uh, the affair. And, when, the affair, and yeah. when I walked in on my funeral when you were talking to me. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's yeah. when I was praying. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. That was incredible. Because they blew up our honeymoon. Honeymoon. Sheila blew up the oh, honeymoon. Blew up the boat. Yeah. That was fun. I, I was with an older gentleman friend on the beach. <laughs> you were. I with was. You and a Remember him? Yes. And we kept, oh my and God. between takes, we kept going like this. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Pretty much. He, the poor thing, he had to do a huge reaction to the ship blowing up that I was on. Nothing. Nothing. Blue screen. And I was gonna say you probably didn't see anything. But. And an older gentleman. Older gentleman it. friend who didn't seem to know that something blew up. It was like, no. Hey. <laughs> he was busy with fish or something. We were fishing. You were fishing. That's a fisherman. Very, 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 very. What, what has it been since you walked down this carpet, seeing everybody, talking to everybody, reliving all of these moments of wine? We've been passing them. Because I always see pretty people like there. See, they're right next to us, but you can't talk to them because we're crossing interviews. This is Michelle, my friend. Uh, yes. Well, I was maybe the folks at home. I know. Tell the folks at home. The folks at home don't know. <laughs> but it's so good to see you guys look gorgeous at home. Thank you. Thank you. That I needed to give you a hug, which I just did. Oh, I wonder who that was. Who could have been? Who could have been Angie? Right? <laughs> Love Angie. 
Oh, I'm so, I was wondering if you are going to come tonight. That's what she said. I was like, yeah. is he coming? I'm here. I'm here. I'm, I'm, I'm really honored to be here. You were, you were part of this milestone. I was part of it. I was, I was married to Nikki New. You were married to Nikki New. I think I, I rate a, 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 an invite. You know. I think so. You know, I'm not allowed to have anything from the bar or any of the food, but I'm allowed to be here. You're allowed to be here, but we're, we're, we're glad to see you. <laughs> Thank of you. Course, of you course. were Nikki's informant, too. That's right. That is true. Yeah, yeah that was great. That was a really unexpected uh, treat to be able to uh, re revisit. <laughs> How are you doing? Always. So good to see you. Um, yeah, it was really nice to be able to return. I, it was unexpected, and, and it was great. And then Melanie returned to the family, crossing over. Well, you know, I always, I always joke. There's, there's a wormhole between Los Angeles and Genoa City. All you, yeah, right? all you have to do is walk across the hallway from the bold, the beautiful stage to the uh, young and the restless stage. So, you're so fun. lightning, lightning speed. That show just celebrated 36 years last night from what I saw. Yes, I mean, it's just amazing. It's amazing. I was just saying, you know, there's only four soaps left. But uh, Bold the Beautiful is the baby, uh, and it's been around 35 years. Uh, so, you know, I think the soaps are experiencing a renaissance, and I think the fans, I agree. The fans are as loyal as ever, and I'm just I'm very honored to be a part of it. It's funny you say that, that the soaps are experiencing a renaissance because of Days of Our Lives being on Peacock, and look how they just showed up and out. A two-year renewal, one of the top ten shows on the streaming service. Yeah. That to me, I'm just going like this. This this genre is not going anywhere. You know, I think what has made it so successful is the fact that um, the relationships that people have watched for decades, in some cases, yeah. they turn their TV on. They know the characters. They know the story. They're emotionally invested in it. Absolutely. And at the end of the day, emotional connection is what keeps people watching. And I'll tell you, I'll be honest, was very surprised of Deacon and Sheila being a thing. You and, right? you and me both. I, I mean, but it, never. But didn't it work insane? Like you, Absolutely. You never Absolutely. knew who it was. It was like watching two different characters. It's just the chemistry you have with Kimberly is just outstanding. Well, she's she's a tremendous actress. Uh, she's uh, uh, so much fun to work with. And I, I love these unlikely pairings. I mean, Absolutely. Ian Deacon was an unlikely pairing. And for me, um, I, I think sometimes these ostensibly unlikely pairings pairings are the ones that work out to be the most interesting that they're the ones that we talk about and, and here's the thing too you know a lot of people did not like the idea of sheila and deacon together but if you can win people over who wanted nothing to do with it yes. and you pull them across the, the um you know the, the the 50 yard line and they're committed to it they, they really stay committed to it yes that's what you're doing and that's why i'm just sitting here going oh this works their their uh, personalities are way different but it just works with them really is entertaining to watch. Thank you just bring it up. I appreciate it. In all your years as Deacon, I got to ask this, though. I think we talked about this, too. Uh, what has been your fondest memory of playing Deacon Sharp? Wow. What has been my fondest memory of playing Deacon Sharp? That's a tough one because there have been a lot of them. But I think, honestly, I think this incarnation of Deacon returning this time around has been extremely special to me because, you know, I've uh, you know, I've gone through a lot in my life. I've, I've, I've come through the other side and I'm finally in a place where I can bring that to the character. And I think that the Deacon we're seeing now is a guy with a lot more depth and oh, absolutely. gravitas than in years past. And for me, I know what I had to go through to get there. And so that's why it's really special for me now. Absolutely. Yeah. You could tell that on screen, especially with what what the show has written for you, you can tell that uh, Deacon has gone through, I guess we could say, a redemption period. Yeah, yeah. And it, it resonates on screen, especially since he's rebuilding the relationship with his daughter. You know, so it, it's it's definitely working out. And I I agree with that. I agree with that assessment. I appreciate that. Well, I'm glad that you got to celebrate this tonight, being a part of this. Definitely deserving. Thank you. And I was really glad to see you. Take care of Many thanks to who all joined us to be a part of these interviews, as well as those that I got to talk to on the red carpet. I can't thank you enough for being a part of this incredible celebration of the Young and the Restless's 50th anniversary on CBS. I want to give a shout out to Dustin Smith from Smith House Agency for having me be a part of it. And of course, my fellow Jersey friend, Matt Kane. you are a huge influx for making this happen as well. And to you, the fans, for being a part of this momentous occasion. This was just absolutely phenomenal. And I just 
was very happy to celebrate this milestone with all of you. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for listening. And thank you to everybody at The Young and the Restless for entertaining us for five decades. Bringing Genoa City into our homes. We love you guys. We are so proud of what you've done and what you continue to do. So this goes to you. My name is Navelle J. Lee. And keep getting the buzz at Buzzworthy Radio by logging on to our website at buzzworthyradiocast.com. You can like us on our Facebook page at Buzzworthy Radio, as well as following us on Twitter. I'm also on Instagram at buzznav. And you can stream us on any platform that you so desire from Amazon Music, iTunes, iHeartRadio, and of course, Spreaker. We'll see you guys next time. Take care. From Twitter to iHeartRadio, Buzzworthy is everywhere, everywhere. Miss the show? Log on to buzzworthyradiocast.com for past shows and videos of some of your favorite stars. Stay connected to Buzzworthy Radio.